and you might have an items such as this video sex and you could have a on a five point scale from strongly disagree one disagree two neutral three agree four and strongly agree five now this is an ordinal scale going from one two three four five and there are verbal anchors and there's an order to it but again we don't know exactly what the quantifiable difference is between three and four we, it's a number one but it's not meaningful because the difference between three and four which is equal to one is it really the same as the difference between four and five it's unknown and that's why it's an ordinal scale here's another example Likert scale I'm an angry person strongly disagree to strongly agree and again we don't know exactly the difference between neutral and agree versus agree and strongly agree now what kind of a st statistics are applied to ordinal scales the Spearman correlation is one so if you know you're dealing with ordinal data and you want to measure an association between two variables you have to know that uh, Spearman correlation would be applied in this case and you also have to know what ordinal data are so the two above Likert items could be correlated together what's the correlation between people's attitude towards this video and their level of anger probably positive rank order of the number of your friends and rank order the amount of time that you spend with those friends probably another positive correlation so interval this is the next level of information associated with the levels of inf uh, level of measurement and it's a numerical scale with a meaningful order plus the exact quantitative difference between numbers within the scale reflect equal differences in magnitude this is the core difference between ordinal and interval now that we're in the interval scale we actually can interpret the difference between values on a scale as equal across the continuum of that scale and I use the word continuous here because interval scales are actually continuous in nature unlike nominal and ordinal which are really categorical nominal is completely categorical with no meaningful order but ordinal does have a meaningful order to it once we get to interval we're actually dealing with continuous scales which makes them very informative now what's an int a limitation associated with the interval scale well there's no meaningful zero point associated with an interval scale and that means that there's no known uh, meaningful absence of the variable and I'll show you examples to drive this home you can add and subtract interval data meaningfully this is a big difference between ordinal and interval data but you can't multiply or divide values meaningfully with interval data and again I'll show you an example to make this clear so Celsius is a commonly used uh, or suggested and used interval scale uh, water, the f zero is equal to water freezing but that isn't the actual absence of temperature there is no real meaningful absence of temperature on the Celsius scale but there is a continuum associated with Celsius, Celsius degrees and we can add and subtract them uh, meaningfully and I'll show you an example of that in a minute calendar time is another interval scale the zero point is not meaningful it's simply the birth of Christ there was time before the birth of Christ so the zero is not the absence of time it's just arbitrarily been determined as the birth of Christ scholastic assessment test the SAT the lowest score you can get is 200 there is no again meaningful zero point on scholastic achievement but there is a continuum associated with the interval scale IQ test scores exactly the same the lowest on most IQ tests at least the Wexler scales uh, have a 40 so it's not when if you score 40 it doesn't mean that your intelligence is zero or that you have no intelligence it simply means that there is no meaningful zero point to the interval scale now here I've got the example of degrees in Celsius and this is to exemplify interval scales and 
their benefits and their limitations. So I've got here the different